This week on Married at First Sight, many of the couples were gearing up to walk down the aisle, but things started off with Emily and Brennan, who said I do in the premiere episode. And Brennan seems to be super excited. Vibes between me and my wife are amazing. Um, I like that she's super bubbly. I like that she's so confident. It feels amazing to finally be married. Becca and Austin are getting ready to get married, and they both tried on looks for their big day. Becca, who has been open about her health issues, ended up choosing a modern renaissance gown that she thinks looks great and makes her feel comfortable as well. I feel like I've gone through some things. There are definitely people that have gone through more, but at the end of the day, I think I've overcome a lot of challenges and enough challenges to feel like marriage is another one that I'm ready to try to conquer. <laughs> I stayed in my comfort zone for a lot of my life because of my anxiety and I think I finally gotten to a point where I've conquered that. While getting glammed up on her big day, Becca admitted that she's nervous to open up to her future husband about her health issues. I'm nervous. I just, like, I want to give him the space to be able to, like, digest it, to process, um, without feeling like he got the short end of the stick in any way. I want him to know that, like, I still have a sense of humor through it, yeah. you know? When they met each other at the altar, Austin teared up, and they both seemed to have major chemistry. The pair tied the knot and are officially a married couple. Becca has requested the Jewish tradition of the breaking of the glass. Austin, <laughs> you're going to have to really stomp on it. So may your bond of love be as difficult to break as it would be to put back together these pieces of glass. You ready? Yeah, do we do it together? Yeah, and then nice once he it. does it, y'all are going to scream mazel tov. <laughs> All right? Yeah? Yeah. Three, two, one. Austin, you may now kiss your bride, Becca. May I? We can. <laughs> Lauren and Orion are excited to meet each other. While getting ready, they both sent each other gifts, with Lauren giving him a flask with rum she bottled and Orion gifting her some turquoise. And his thoughtful gift really put Lauren at ease. I feel like he's spiritual. Like, and that already means a lot for me that he talked about his ancestors because, you know, I talk about my ancestors and my spirit guides all the time. Like, we're connected. We're already spiritually, mentally connected somehow. All right, I'm ready to get married now. If there's anything that made me feel, like, prepared and ready for this, it was this. Like, I'm about to cry. Don't. I'm not, no, but I'm like. Look up. I'm not crying. <sighs> look up. The pair exchanged some heartfelt vows and were officially married. And their friends and family seemed so excited, cheering as they kissed for the first time. Orion, you may now kiss your bride, Lauren. Would you like a kiss? Yes. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> Baby, I can feel it. For the first time as husband and wife, Orion and Lauren. They both appear to be happy with how things ended up for them, and they seem to bond while getting to know each other after saying I do. I was worried that like maybe you would see me and just be like, oh, that's not that's not what I requested. <laughs> that's not what I wanted. But that kind of washed away because I mean I have eyes. I look good. I saw myself yeah. in the mirror today and I was like, yeah. damn, my, my husband's lucky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and I want you to know that like as good as I look on the outside, like, I'm even better on the inside, like, big facts. And you'll get to, you know, we'll, we'll learn each yeah, other. Yeah, we'll I'm, I'm excited. This is really nice. I know, we get to, like, start our life together, mm -hmm. do things together. I'm really excited. Yeah. And just trying to envision, you know, who I wanted to give my vows to, um, this, this, you. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I, it's definitely, um, you are everything I've envisioned. Fans have been wondering what happens with Michael on his wedding day. In the first episode, it looks like he gets left at the altar. And in this episode, we saw the moment when his unnamed bride-to-be got cold feet. I'm sorry. I don't think I can do this. I don't want to marry a stranger. Oh. Look, it's a lot. You know it better than most that this is a tough journey, so... I can understand the doubts and, you know, all the worries that come with it. And even though we're just meeting, I do wish the best for you. You know, if this is a journey that you don't want to take, I respect that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. 
Wow, what an amazing guy. I'm sorry. After the shocking moment, he handled it with grace and shared how disappointed he was about how everything went down. More than just getting married today, right? You kind of put yourself in the mindset of like, what is the journey gonna look like? And, you know, sure there's a little bit of hub hubris in this, but I would have hoped if, you know, she had doubts coming into it that seeing me at the, you know, standing up there would have helped quelled some of that. Yeah. Um, clearly that wasn't the case, which, you know, that's all right. But there's probably, there's, you know, sadness. That's a bit humbling. Michael got emotional and called his experience a failure, but he is still open for love in the future. It's a failure. But it hasn't changed who I am. What's next for me is just going through what I need to go through to continue to process this. I still feel the same way in terms of my readiness for marriage, but I might have to make peace with the possibility that marriage might not be in the cards for me. Later, he read a note that his runaway bride left for him, where she shared how sorry she was, as well as expressing gratitude for how he handled the situation. Dear Michael, I can't express how sorry I am to have not given this marriage the chance you deserve. I hope that one day you'll be able to fill the adventure book up with incredible memories of you and your future wife. You couldn't have been more gracious and empathetic towards me, and it shows what a great man you really are. You are a true gentleman, a kind soul. I wish you the best. Claire and Cameron were deciding on what to wear on their wedding day, and Claire had a moment of self-reflection when she said yes to the dress. You guys know I've had, you know, issues with self-image, and just no one has wanted to commit to me. Like, nobody has ever been sure of me. They've been like, yeah, I like this and that about you, but I, I don't see myself with you long term, and I feel like um, all the praying I've done, it's all led me here. The pair are getting set to get married, but Claire didn't seem to understand the gift he gave her before they headed down the aisle. Oh, Lord. Yeah. I hope he's a good guy. I hope he's a good guy. Like, that's all I can ask for at this point. Whew. And they certainly seem to have some major pre-wedding nerves going on. I'm excited. Yeah. I mean, maybe, you know, a little anxious to reveal the mystery. It's good, exciting, not bad, exciting. Okay, we're good. I'm scared, but I think being scared doesn't always have to be a bad thing. It looks like we won't get to see if they end up actually getting married until next week's episode. Life is too short, and I just want to be able, at the end of this, to have somebody who I can see spending the rest of my life with. But there's so many things that may not go the way that I'm thinking in my head. So just like the unknown is the most scary thing to me. You're a brave man. <laughs> she might be braver. <laughs> Everyone, please stand.